All right, for number two here, we have um, a quantity A and B um, asking us to compare two things. So I'm going to start with B. B, I think, is a little easier. It says the least common multiple of 6 and 15. Meaning I'm going to look at 6 and I'm going to look at 15. And it's asking for the, I'm going to say this very slowly, the least common multiples, also called the LCM, the least common multiple. Meaning we want to pretty much uh, look at 6 and 15 and think to ourselves, what is a number that is a multiple of 6 and 15, meaning in the 6 times table and in the 15 times table, you would find that number, um, a number that's common to 6 and 15 in their times tables, but the least one, the smallest one, that number is going to be 30. Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, how did you know that? Well, you were just thinking of a number that's that 6 can go into and 15 can go into and the smallest one that you can find. Because if you think about it, 60, which is not the LCM in this case, but 60 is also common to 6 and 15, but it's not the least one, okay? So the LCM refers to the least common multiple, so a number that 6 and 15 goes into, but the smallest one you can find, the very first one you can find that's common to 6 and 15. So the answer here will be 30. So it's one of those things you just kind of critically think of. Um, trying to actually come up with a formula for it is actually more confusing. So that's that, 30 for that one. Over here, though, there's more of a method to, to the madness for A. So we have 84 and we have 700. And this one is asking more for um, the greatest the greatest common factor, GCF. Um, so let's think about this one. Because it uses the word factor, we want to kind of use the factor tree, okay? We want to use the factor tree. So what I'm going to do is look at 84, look at 700, and I want to see what is what are all the things that are common to both of them to come up with the greatest common factor for 84 and, and 700. The best way to look at a 700 is pretty much to say, well, that's going to be a 7 and a 100. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to, be able to get this 100 because I know I could break 100 down to 10 and 10 and that gives me 2525 2, okay and then over here for 84 I know that's a 7 and a 12 and then 12 breaks up as a 3 a 4 and a 4 is a 2 2 so this is where we are so based on this the question now is what are the things that are common here and here and you want to find all of them well we know 7 is common to both of them so I'm going to put down 7 I also know that um 2 is common here and here, and then another 2 is common here and here. So you have two 2s, so a 2 and a 2, okay? And at this point, that's, that's it. There's nothing else common. Now, someone else may say, well, how about, isn't this 3? Well, first of all, there's no 3 here or 3 here. Um, but the thing to be aware of when you're doing GCF is you need to find all the prime factors. What I mean by that is the very last numbers in this string. Um, so don't go for a four or anything because you want to pick all the last numbers, um, the very prime, that's what we call them prime numbers. Prime numbers are numbers that is the lowest number you can get that you cannot break down any further. Like I cannot break down seven any further. I can't break three down any further. I can't break two down any further. So seven, three, two, two are prime numbers for 84 and seven, two, five, two, five are prime numbers for 700. So you just want to pick all the numbers, really like the prime numbers are common here and here. So anyways, I have seven is common, two, two are both common. And when you multiply all that together, you get 28. So the GCF is 28 while the LCM is 30. As you can see, the LCM is greater. So the answer here is going to be B because the B value is greater. So that's what you're doing. For LCM, you just want to want to think about it. Just run through your multiplication for a few seconds. You pick that out. But for GCF, you want to do a factor tree and pick out all things that are common.